Hello everyone. Uh, now we will discuss the problem based on the bisection method. So uh, the problem is there is an equation x cube minus 1.8 x square minus 10 x plus 17 is equal to 0 and we want to find root of that equation. In the problem itself they have given the interval so no issue of finding the interval. Otherwise you have to substitute the values of x okay, and you have to get the uh, values, two values where you will get uh, the value of function one, once it will be positive and once it should be negative okay so uh, now it is given to you in this problem so f of x i have written interval 1 to 2 it is given so what we will do we will find f of a and f of b means what we will find f of 1 and f of b okay so what we will do we will just replace the value of x once by 1 and once by 2 so that will be f of 1 and f of 2 so f of 4 you can see it is 1 cube 1 cube minus 1.8 into 1 square minus 10 into 1 plus 17 so in this way if you calculate it will be 6.2 it is positive value ok so f of 2 if you calculate just replace 1 by 2 in the same function it is negative value so what value they have to work are correct ok so once it is positive and once it is negative so I have just listed it out a to b it is 1 to 2 a has given positive outcome, B has given negative outcome because you will require that at the end of second, first equation. So now first equation, the first approximate root we will get with, between A and B. Okay? So that is C is equal to F plus B upon B. So it will be 1 plus 2 upon 2, 1 point. So what we will do, we will find F of C means we will find F of 1 point. So again in the same equation we will replace x by 1.5. So f of 1.5 will be 1.5 cube minus 1.8 into 1.5 square minus 10 into 1.5 plus 17. So you will get some value. It is here 1.325 which is greater than 0. Now why I mention this? Because you have to shorten the interval and we have to come closer for the value of root. Okay. So now as it is a positive outcome for f of 1.5, so it will replace the previous positive value, it is 1. 1 is positive, so it will replace 1. So 1 1.5 will replace 1. So your interval is now shorter from 1 to 2, it is now 1.5 to 2. So now you are right that the roots will be between 1.5 to 2. So you have shortened the uh, interval by half. Okay, so at the end of second iteration, you will use these two values. So your d value after c, you will find d that will be 1.5 plus 2 upon 2, so it will be 1.75. So again, what you will do? You will find f of d. Either it will be positive or negative. Now tell me, this 1.5, it has given positive and it has given negative value. Let's consider this f of d has given a negative value. So it will replace 2. If f of d has given positive value, it will replace 1.5. So in this way the interval will close. And at the end of third iteration, your new root will lie between that new interval. So uh, if you like this video, please like, subscribe and please post your answer up to the end of fifth iteration. I want the answer of x at the end of fifth equation. So you can post the answer and you can increase my confidence of uh, giving such videos and to interact with all of you. Thank you. Thank you all.